Hello, my name is Seth Longland. I'm an adult programmer at the William E. Durr branch of the Kenton County Public Library. Thanks for tuning in to the Pinterest series today. We're going to show you how to make a Cajun coleslaw and a Cajun deli sandwich. It's super duper easy. You probably have most of this stuff at home already. So before you run out to the store, take a look in your cabinet, take a look in your refrigerator, and see what you already have. Okay, so here's what you're going to need to make the Cajun coleslaw and the Cajun deli sandwich. Let's go ahead and start with utensils. First things first, your knife. This knife might not have been the optimal knife, but it's what we're going to use. You'll also need measuring spoons. Start with a teaspoon and a tablespoon. I'd recommend having a couple of both because you'll need to use them for different ingredients. Spatula, always necessary when cooking on a pan. And a half cup measuring cup. You can do a full cup if you've got it, just do whatever you have there. So for the Cajun coleslaw, first things first, broccoli slaw. Super easy to get, any deli store will have that. You're also gonna need some mayo. I go with light mayo. You're gonna need some mustard, just regular old mustard. Some horseradish sauce. You're gonna need some Cajun powder or blackening powder, whichever. You're also gonna need some brown sugar. And then you'll also need apple cider vinegar. On the veggie front, an orange bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, and these can be substituted for red if you prefer, and scallions, otherwise known as green onion. So now we're going to be looking at our Cajun coleslaw. Once again, we have that broccoli slaw mix here, and to that we're just going to add a couple things. We're going to add some thinly sliced and then uh, cut in half uh, bell peppers. I've got the yellow and the orange here. Just kind of adds to the texture. Uh, you want to keep it thinner so it kind of melds with the slaw there. But if you want bigger chunks, go ahead and put bigger chunks in there. It's not going to hurt it at all. The other thing we're going to add to the slaw mixture is some scallion. I cut it very, very, very uh, thin, we'd say. Uh, mostly the green part. Put a little bit of the white in there if you want some extra crunch. I went ahead and did that. So, for the dressing for the coleslaw, we're going to start with that half a cup of mayo. That's a little bit extra, but that should be okay. And again, I'm using that light mayo. If you want to use full-on mayo, feel free to. I believe mine is a canola mayo. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of regular mustard. So there's the first tablespoon second tablespoon. We are also going to do two tablespoons of horseradish sauce. There's one, two. Now again, feel free to adjust any of these levels. Horseradish can get pretty spicy, so if you don't want to do that, get a little light on it. We're also going to add two teaspoons of brown sugar. And since it's a little spicy, we'll add just a little extra. And then two teaspoons of the Cajun seasoning or blackening seasoning. Now we'll give this a good mix together. If you have a whisk, that might be a little bit better to use, but you can use a spoon as well. Okay, so it looks like everything is pretty well combined there. So we're going to go ahead and stir or pour this into our slaw mixture. Okay, now we're going to stir together all this here. Just really want to toss it all together. Make sure it gets a nice, even coating. And that's starting to look nice, nice and combined. That's the key. You want everything covered. You want a nice bite of that dressing and every single bite of slaw. Final thing you can do for this is drizzle a little bit of apple cider vinegar right on top of that, Oop. or sometimes a splash of apple cider vinegar. And I also like to add some cracked pepper, just give it a few good twists in there, and then one last stir to make sure that all combines there a little bit. Okay, your Cajun coleslaw is ready to go, you can serve it immediately, or Put a little uh, saran wrap over it, toss it in the fridge, this will hold for a couple days for sure. Thanks again for tuning in to the Pinterest series at the Kenton County Public Library. My name is Seth Longland. 
We have tons of free programming, and you can find all those at our website, kentonlibrary.org. Um, and then we have free program at all three branches. So if you want to sign up, you can go to the website, call us, or just stop on in, and we'll get you registered to go. Happy cooking and bon appetit.